Oh yes, we're live, okay. Yes, different venue, I'm outside today. <laughs> Actually a different st- different county than usual. Um, hi, welcome to my broadcast. This is episode 818. Yes, lots of broadcasts. The topic today is, um, do you play safe in love and are you willing to leave your comfort zone? Uh, I've got sunglasses because it's very bright. I'm actually down in Orange County at Irvine to so see my friend Brad do his thing at his networking event. So I'm going to be networking tonight and maybe between pictures. Came down early to beat the traffic, so I'm doing Facebook Live on location. So this is not on location broadcast. <laughs> um, in case you don't know me, this is my name is Barry Selby. This is my daily Facebook Live, usually done in a studio environment, which is much easier, quieter, and less windy. I had to find a space I could stand quietly without the wind blowing all over the microphone. Um, I'm an inspirational speaker, I'm a love and relationships expert and spiritual guide, helping women create balance in love, life and business. I'm also a best-selling author of the book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women. And I'm also a passionate champion of the divine feminine, just a few things I do. That's what informs my work with women, why I support women in their feminine, also why I do these talks every day now for over two and a half years called Messages from the Masculine Inspiring a Feminine Heart. So today we're episode number 818. I'll tell you at the back end where you can find the links. I'm also going to give you a couple of links you can check out afterwards as well that might help you with what I'm talking about here. Which basically is, how safe do you play in love? And I don't don't mean this about taking risks. What I mean is when you play too comfortable. And I'm going to play play this backwards in a way because when you think about safety and comfort, you think about relaxed, no big deal, no stress, no pressure, nothing like that. But most people's relationship experience in their comfort zone is less than comfortable. Most people's experience in a relationship, if you look back at your history, maybe you can look yourself. Um, yeah, the shades look kind of interesting camera, but I, I'm squinting too much. And I don't want to squinty eye on the camera. Um, when you look back at your own history of relationships, how free, wonderful, expressive, supportive, loving, joyful were you? Oh, by the way, that's John Wayne Airport behind me, I think. Yeah, John Wayne Airport. Hence the noise of the planes coming in. So, down Orange County is a different area than, <laughs> than Culver City. So, my point I'm making, attempting to make here, it's maybe a shorter broadcast with all distracting noises, is do you really stay in the same old, same old when you're looking at relationships? Do you stay comfortable in your comfort zone where in fact you're not willing to stretch and learn new things about how you can be a more effective partner and attract a more ideal relationship? Because this is the work I do with my clients and I've noticed a lot of times with my clients, their comfort zone, and I'm using the word comfort zone, but it's really backwards because it's uncomfortable, is to stay something familiar. It's maybe it's a better way of saying it, the familiar zone. Maybe in your relationship choices, you're someone who is, why don't you take it back? If you're like most people, because this is a majority of people do this, you tend to stay within the same familiar experience to have relationships, which aren't the ones you want. Most people are finding in the relationships they're choosing are repeating themselves again and again and again, hoping it's going to be different from the last time, and it's not. So stepping out of your comfort zone, stepping out of your familiar zone, stepping out of your safety to actually get what you really want requires a conscious choice. And this is the, I mean, working with my clients, I've said before, this is some things I do with the clients, help them really see the truth of their, what, their work, what their value is, in terms of who they, who they are, their own self-worth, but also to clear out the, what can I say, the installed programming we've carried on since we were a kid. And I've done many talks about this in the last few months about how the wiring inside, the programming inside is so overriding our choices. And that's really the familiarity. And it is a limited place to be when you can be much more, um, happy, fulfilled, and joyful if you stretch outside your familiarity zone to get the relationship you really want. So let me explain a couple of things. So first of all, it's almost impossible to change your conscious, excuse me, it's almost impossible to change your relationship choices consciously unless you do the work on your, uh, how do I say this? I don't want to call it subconscious, but this is actually what Paul Shealy calls other than conscious. I was watching a video of his recently. Hi, Lorian. Good to see you. So, what I'm attempting to say here... No, I'm squinting too much. I'm trying to find where I can look at the camera and see what's going on without squinting, but this is going to be the way it's going to be. All right, let's try it this way. Um, (laughs) 
to move beyond your familiarity zone, to move beyond your comfort zone, is the place where you're going to find the real things you want. You, it's kind of like if if you stay the same, nothing's going to change. It's that idea. If you don't want to have the same old relationships, you need to change something. That sounds very simple, but reality is what it's doing is your what you're familiar with is what you what's the same, and if you don't change it, nothing changes. So really finding where you can be able to stretch into a new place to learn what you really deserve and to heal those past or I should say rewrite that past program is a better way of putting it it's not necessarily a wound it's more about the program you've taken on since you were a kid that's limiting you from having what you want so steps I would suggest one of them is become aware of what you've been doing as a familiar experience for so many years and notice your choices that you still stay in that familiar zone to do it secondly get clear what the differences are between what you want and what you're getting because you'll see there's a difference if you notice that and you'll start seeing okay what's my investment am I really committed to what I really want because I'm so fed up with what I've been getting that's two three get support and find somebody like myself and I'm going to self-promote here that can help you get some clarity on that because if you don't get the help to see beyond your own familiarity you may not even be able to see it from where you're standing because you don't have the viewpoint you don't have the understanding you don't have the um, vision you almost got to borrow somebody else's vision to see beyond your familiarity, and that's the work I do with my clients. And four, you've got to be willing to take the action steps and follow through to get what you really want. And it is a choice. I'm, I'm watching the shadows from that pole over my head. <laughs> so that's the four steps I'm recommending. At the same time, it requires you to make the first one first. Be willing to change, be willing to grow, be willing to become unfamiliar with how you've been to know where you want to go. Because part of the change is that your, pro your programming you've taken on when you were younger, your other than conscious programming, came in at a very young age and it's been running all, every time since. So it's a very familiar feeling. And this isn't necessarily an ideal one. It may not be a happy one, but it's, not, it's going to limit you from having what you want. So my, my invitation, first was to consider what it is you've been getting and do you still want that? If you want to change it, then we can talk. Um, I'm keeping this very succinct because I've got to go. Yeah, I've got to go back in because I've got the event setting up and I'm shooting the event tonight. So I'll put some links in the comments. You can check out my book will be in the comments. The self love practice. Cause I keep telling you, you, love yourself first. It's a big piece of the work. And I'll link to have a conversation with me, a discovery session. Because frankly, if you are still playing the old familiar game and you're not getting what you want, you need to make some changes. That I think will make it succinct. I'm going to keep it short and simple tonight because I've got to go do some other stuff. So we're we saying. You be comfortable with well, that's the merry and glad you can because most people aren't comfortable with change they're actually rather stuck in their familiarity so the fact you're willing to change because, sorry the fact you're fam you're comfortable with changing is rare <laughs> and it's ideal because then you can see what's possible because if you're not willing to change if you're not willing to look at what's changing then you're stuck and you never will change so oh yes thank you it's not my event I'm actually going to be helping you at the friends event but I'm already here so I'm, I've got through the traffic that was the worst part getting down here to Orange County to Irvine from LA was a bit of a drive so that's it um, so anyway thank you for watching I'm, if you want to check out my other broadcasts give me the, I'll give the replays you can find them because there's a whole bunch of more content I've taught for over two years now um, on my broadcast so if you want to catch me live in my normal setting because I'll be back in my normal setting tomorrow go to my um on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. You can follow me there. There should be a link around here somewhere you can tap on. There should be three dots you can tap on above the broadcast. You click on that, there should be a pop down, which a pop up that says notify next time I go live, something like that. That's one thing you do. Secondly, um, the replays go on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby to author. And that you can uh, like my page, please. And you can find more there. And also I put them onto YouTube. My YouTube channel is Barry Selby. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Barry Selby. And on there is a, a playlist called Messages from the Masculine. You can watch them all there. So what was it saying there? Change can be exciting as you discover as you discover new me. Yes, exactly. See, that's the thing. Most people are afraid to change because they're not willing to risk losing the old familiar me to get the new me. But you're understanding what it is. All right. So I'm wrapping up with another plane comes zooming over. And I'll be back in tomorrow in my normal setting with a little bit less background noise and hopefully with less sun in my eyes too. So with that, I thank you for watching. Again, you know where to find the replays. I'll put some links in the comments later on when I get a chance to write them down. And if you want to find out more about how I can help you, just send me a message over social media. So with that, I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.